This video basically my Exodia Appropriate deck. I love that they came out with it hollow after years as well as Book of Eclipse. Basically this video is just showcasing this is the love I love this engine with all my heart and I love this this build so much but it's obsolete i have a way better build i will be posting it soon as i get all the cards necessary in real life for the build um probably tomorrow or maybe soon like within the week maybe but hopefully by tomorrow and you know it just shows you like you know you love a deck you love a build the same way but this can otk if you draw all the necessary pieces to keep drawing keep drawing over and over and over within one turn so with the right setup you can otk while you're preventing them from attacking but it just doesn't work how it with the current meta just it's like i said it's obsolete um yeah it's fun but let's all be honest we all call fun decks any deck we lose with and i'm very competitive so and then I'm stuck between playing this and Pokemon. So I was like, you're stuck between two things you want. Like, so my attention's on both. I don't post daily videos or anything, but I do come up with ideas and everything. And I love Draw Fate. I was one of the first people to make a Exodia video on YouTube with Draw Fate and The Lock. And I'm happy to see, even if I'm getting no recognition, my videos get a lot of like on views. Even if nobody's saying they know they don't see no Exodia playing with Draw Fate, I'm like, yeah, whatever. But I'm happy that people are playing with Draw Fate and doing the lock combo and a lot of more Exodia decks rising up. But I have a way better build coming soon. I'm gonna stop um, jibber jabbering. But I just love this, so I'm gonna pass this version of Exodia to my daughter. She'll have this version. And, you know, you have to evolve over time. As time goes on, you have to evolve your thinking, your strategy, and some things are just have to put to rest so that way better, more dangerous versions can rise up. And I'm debating to take either the Stardust Chaos Assault version um, to regionals in April, which I have plenty of time to think about, or the new Exodia build. And I'll post videos showcasing it to... Um, I'll get around doing that soon. But rest in peace, appropriate Exodia. I loved you. When One Day of Peace first came out at 3, I abused it with appropriate. I just love this deck. It's my heart and joy. But you're going to a regionals, you can't take your heart and joy. We know how, how that really works out. Everybody takes the top deck that they want to win. So it's extremely competitive, even if they're not playing with their favorite deck they're playing just to win because they want their name to go down in history but why not go down in history with a deck that you love and make it work so that's exactly what i'm doing I'm, i've held my own with Stardust assault mode chaos assault and let's just see where life takes us always remember to evolve your thinking and go take it a step beyond other than that enjoy the game not the fame have a good life. I hope you're having a good day. And this is the start of 2020. And if you want to hit me up, just drop your friend code. And play some Pokemon Sword and Shield. I got my team ready for singles. If you want to hit me up for a single battle, maybe we'll post that. I got a few shinies I've hatched. And Mew from the ball, but I hatched this one. Rest in peace to my grandmother. I hatched it on the day I found out she died. And my shiny Charizard. I'm rebreeding one for with ancient power. I prefer ancient power on him, so I'm rebreeding. Might do a giveaway for this one, or just give this to my wife. I'm trying to breed for hidden ability, um, Espeon, and I'm probably rebreed again and probably do a giveaway for this one. But 
As you know, my videos are Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh! Thinking outside the box, strategies, people probably want to think of. Well, Adis, enjoy your day, life. Hope 2020 is blessed for you, a new decade. Yeah. Bye.